Well, credit you know, UT Arlington. They were really, really tough, uh, especially at the end there. They were rebounding the basketball extremely well. They were taking us off the bounce. Um, I kept telling our guys, we just have to find a way to win this thing. We know our best basketball is ahead of us. We've dealt with so many injuries. We've dealt with, obviously, Nelly um, missing four crucial months of practice. Um, we just got to find a way. And Jamal Baker made an amazing play um, on a block shot. And Donovan Dent made a great play in the open court. So um, proud of our guys. Uh, we need to get a little rest tomorrow. And then we've got three days to uh, fix a lot of things to keep getting better because this team will progress as the season goes on. We've got so many new guys. So uh, grateful for the fans. Amazing home court. And um, a really good win for our guys. How big a factor was Nelly's three first half fouls and then starting the second half and they attacked the ring like crazy for a while? Yeah, I mean, it was a factor. I think the bigger factor was JT cramping up. Um, I wanted to get him back in the game. I mean, he's a really good player. And when you take Nelly out, it's great to have JT be his backup. He can block shots and do those things. Um, but he was cramping up, and he was uh, he was really struggling there in the second half. So uh, a combination of both. And then towards the end there, they were taking us off the bounce. We weren't rebounding the basketball. Um, and like I said, Baker made a big play at the end. That was a huge play. Can you just talk uh, the decision to go to Donovan at the end, too? Yeah, 5.3. Five, 5. Um, normally, you get about a dribble a second, and uh, Donovan is about as good as it gets to the rim. So, uh, Mash was staring me down. He was mad at me. I was ignoring him. Uh, I wanted to space the court, and I wanted Isaac to play behind the defense, and Donovan get to the rim. Um, and he's a great layup maker. You know, he's just uh, really, really good at it. So, um, Fortunately, it, it worked in in that one. Sometimes it doesn't. How do you feel like Donovan handled that emotionally? You know, he has that, that impossible three that's made over him. He's guarding him, but to be able to do that after and make that play? Yeah, and he got beat off the bounce and fouled, too. Um, but that was great by him. That's the key to this whole thing. Uh, basketball is an imperfect game. You're never going to be 100% um, perfect, but it's all about how you respond to the next play. And, um, you know, he... There's a lot of talk about House and Mash, and they're really good players. They are. But Donovan Dent is a really good player as well, and um, he, he's taking advantage. We, we're way better when House is with us. We know that. Hopefully he'll be back soon. But Donovan's taking advantage of that opportunity. All right, thank you, guys. <laughs> you mentioned fixing things before you get to Vegas. What specifically is that? Guard the basketball um, and rebound the basketball. Now, they're a good rebounding team, but we were minus nine on the glass. So guarding the ball and rebounding, uh, I actually thought we guarded the three-point line pretty good until the end. Uh, but those are the two glaring weaknesses that we got to get better at. How much of it is on the guards to, to keep them out of the paint when they're attacking the rim? Yeah, I mean, there's got to be more of a presence on the guard. You know, I mean, if they're going to go one-on-one, -on -one, it's, it's like back in the playground. You know, you got to guard them. And um, you got to kind of draw a line in the sand and say you're not going any further. Um, having a presence of some shot blocking helps. We did give up some crucial offensive rebounds towards the end. Um, but, yeah, it, it's on everybody. Everybody's got to be connected. I know you said at the press conference, you know, Mash didn't have his best game this last time but around. But, I mean, you know, like those shots are going to fall. He came out really hot in that first half. How big was that for him and for this team, too? Yeah, I, I don't have a doubt that Mash is going to score the basketball. Um, he had, what, 29 points. He had 21 in the first half or 20, uh, 22. Um Ne never a doubt with that. He, he's a natural-born scorer. Um, and uh, I told him to keep taking good shots, and I think for the most part he's been taking some good shots. I know you mentioned that there's still some work to do, especially with House still out and Nelly getting some work in, but it did feel at the end of the first half that the chemistry was looking a lot better. Did you see that too, and, and how was that certainly? Well, I, I think that um, although I am excited about the future of this team and program, we have eight new players. Um, and when you take a veteran like Jalen House out, well, now you got a lot of new guys on the court. And, you know, we're not going to be perfect right now. Uh, there were moments I thought we were really good, but there were also moments where you're just scratching your head wondering what's going on. So um, you have to learn from every opportunity that you get, whether it's those exhibition games, whether it's St. Mary's, and then this one. Um, you know, and just keep progressing, keep progressing because – we don't have a lot of returners. We, we got some talented guys, and I really like us, but we don't have a lot of guys in that locker room that were here last year. So uh, we're going to have to build kind of on the fly, like a lot of people are doing in college basketball right now.
kind of going off that question, it seemed like today, starting the game, there was a really good sense of urgency coming out. I mean, what changed after last game? What in the last few days leading up to today? Nothing really changes. It's not, uh, I think St. Mary's is a really good team, and we beat them last year. They were probably foaming at the mouth for us to play them again. Um, so I don't think a whole lot changed. We're home. Uh, you know, we got some of the best fans in the country. Um, our approach has been good. Like, I haven't really had any issues with that. We just got to be humble with what we see on the film and just address those deficiencies and keep working. So Nelly's in foul trouble and, and JT's – Cramping up, I'm curious why there's no Sebastian minutes tonight. Nothing really. I mean, he's been – Sebastian's been a little dinged up as well. Um, missed the last two practices. But he was available. But I wanted – towards the end, I wanted some guys who could hit some free throws. Um, but JT still played 27 minutes. So n nothing in particular that he did or anything.